Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Jane. This is Jane Belante Art. My voice is terrible. I'm getting over a horrific sinus infection. So I'm so sorry it's going to be bad throughout this whole video, but I'm going to show you how to make a project that's so easy. Um, and you would think that this was like super hard, right? But it's not. It's literally three products. Three products right here. You can find these on my website. Go watch the video and let me know what you think. So you can start with either one, any one of these colors. Um, I like to start with either the blue or the green because I do like the gold on top. Um, I will be putting that throughout, but I think I'm going to start with this green here. It's called mint green, but you can see it's got a little bit of grit in it, which makes it really, really fun. Um, I've got four palette knives from the Turquoise Iris Collection. You can find this on the Paint Pixie website. My link is in the description. Um, if you can only get one, I would probably get one of these two. It's the 34 or the 35. Um, this one I feel like is easier to use, especially if you are new to palette knives. But listen, it's super easy. It's just like you're fr um, spreading frosting. So that's what I'm going to start doing. I have this it's just a canvas panel. It's a watercolor canvas panel. But I like these because they're super cheap and um, easy to come by. They're always sold in big packs. And it's a good thing to play around with when you're new, right? You don't feel like you're wasting so much money. I love the grit in here. Can you hear that? That's really, really fun. Okay, so I'm not going to let this dry, and I'm gonna to switch tools, and I'm gonna to go to this 35. I'm just gonna start layering this in, and it's cool when you put them right on top of each other, because you can blend them a little bit, and then you can go in areas and just put them, you know, on their own. And so, like I said, you can start with either one of these colors to achieve a similar effect. So I've got kind of a rocking motion with my palette knife. I'm kind of rocking it back and forth as I push. It just makes different texture. The fun thing about palette knives is you can mess around with them all you want and you will just die because they make like so many fun textures and marks. So when you're using them with a product like this too that kind of blends together seamlessly, they're just a lot of fun to work with. I am absolutely loving how this is looking. And so what I'm going to do now is I'm gonna take my heat tool and dry this. Um, if you don't wanna do this all in one shot, you can just let this sit and dry. It'll take, um, I don't know, maybe up to an hour, maybe a little bit more. But you can dry it with your heat tool on low heat. And so that's what I'm going to do and I'll be right back. So I have this bird stencil. And I think I want them right about there. So the gold is a bit thicker. Isn't that cool? The brass, I guess you should call it. It's not gold, it's brass. And I'm just gonna spread it on through the stencil. 
You can tape your stencil on if you want to. I'm, I just am unsure if I totally dried this all the way, so I'm just being really careful. Oh, that's amazing. I have this script stencil and I think it would be really, really cute for a branch. So I'm kind of lining it up where the bird's feet end. Let's see how it looks. It's a little mushy. <clears throat> I actually think it kind of looks neat though. Okay, so I'm going to layer over these. And the reason why I think that got so mushy is because I actually had a bunch of um, embossing ink on there <clears throat> that I, of course, did not clean off. But, <clears throat> excuse me, this voice is ridiculous. Um, but I think this is a happy accident because I'm actually going to be layering some more of these colors on top of this. So I think it's actually going to be pretty cool. Um, <clears throat> but right now I'm just going to take little bits on my spatula here and I'm going to fill in some areas. All right, I am loving how this looks. I've dried it with my heat tool, but I'm gonna let it sit for about 20 minutes just to harden because I'm going to be putting the stencils back on and layering, so I will be back after that. So I'm not gonna use too much of this. I'm going to use this flat top spatula again, and I'm just gonna pull a little bit through. Okay, I've been kind of just peeking to see how it looks underneath. It's pretty awesome. So let me just wipe this off and then I'm gonna dunk it into <clears throat> the blue color, excuse me. And again, I'm gonna just be really careful here how much I'm putting on. This is gonna flow a little bit smoother so it doesn't have any texture in the blue. So I think that's looking pretty neat. I like how um, monotone this is. Let me put on this stencil. Let's see how I did this. That looks pretty good. I'm just gonna do the same thing.
I think it's really awesome and it's really beautiful. If you stick it in a frame, it would look really just kind of pop out. So I took a step back, <clears throat> excuse me, it's awful. And um, I actually really like it like this. And so look how easy that was. That was so easy and this looks like a really complex project, doesn't it? But it's not. That's the part I love the most. So thanks so much for joining me. You can find me at janebelanteart.com. You'll find a whole bunch of classes there, a whole bunch of inspiration. And please watch the next video.